Hey y'all, what is up? My name is Kimberly. For those of y'all that don't know me, welcome to my channel. I'm an American and I make videos about Germany. So if that's your cup of tea, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification so that way you will get notified every time I post a new video every single week. I am super excited about today's video because it's a topic that I'm strangely passionate about and that is renting an apartment in the US versus renting an apartment in Germany. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering how to find an apartment, rent prices, what comes in the apartment, and I'm gonna give you all my personal opinion in this video. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that this is completely based off of my experience. You could have a different experience and that is totally fine. Feel free to share your experience down below in the comments. Okay, I'm done with rambling, so without further ado, let's get started with the video. So first, let's talk about how to find an apartment because in my opinion, there is a huge significant difference. So let me just say that I feel like it's a lot easier to find a place in the countryside no matter where you are versus in the big city. So I think that that is just a commonality between everybody no matter what country you are living in except for if you're living in Malta or something like that. I feel like it might be different. Maybe even in Luxembourg it's a little bit different. But generally speaking, I think the countryside will always be easier than in the city. Anyways, but in order to find an apartment in Germany, you usually have to have a connection. And that is a really frustrating process as a foreigner to go through because when you get to Germany or if you just get a new job in Germany, you don't have very many connections. So a lot of people will often live in hostels or hotels when they first move to Germany because they struggle with finding an apartment because they do not have any connections. So I think in Germany, it's really connection based. You have to find an apartment, you have to apply for that apartment, and then you have to go get interviewed for that apartment. So it's a lot of different steps and processes and there are not as many options for apartments in Germany. So when you go and you apply and you interview for this apartment, you're just so nervous because you want to have a house to live in. So you're often just like, you'll take whatever you can get. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, then watch my Berlin apartment tour. Then you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. So because you don't have that many options, you're just grateful for whatever you get. And after going through that strenuous interviewing process, then they will let you know if you get the apartment or not. I'm actually not sure if they check your background or anything like that. I know that's common practice in the US to do a background check and also to ask for proof of work. Um, I'm not sure about that actually with Germany. I've been very fortunate that I have my connection of my boyfriend and his parents actually have an apartment in Berlin. So every time I go to Berlin, I'm able to stay in that apartment, which is so nice. In the US, the process is a lot different, generally speaking. I think it's different in New York City and LA, but generally speaking in the larger US cities, um, it's usually like, you go onto a website like apartments.com or zillow.com and you find an apartment within your budget and within your style and taste. And then you will go over to the complex or meet with the realtor and they will try to convince you why you should stay at that apartment. They will literally add on features. They're like, you will get free Netflix for a month. Like, it's crazy. So they are trying to convince you why you should stay with them versus the other way around like in Germany. So when you go to the apartment complex and you find an apartment that you like, then usually you will have to give them uh, your personal information and they'll run a background check. Or in my case, if you're self-employed, they'll ask for your last few pay stubs to make sure that you actually make money. Also, a significant difference is the US is a credit card culture. So if you have good credit score, then that will really help your chances of getting an apartment in the US versus in Germany. I don't even think they look at your credit score because it's really normal to have people that don't even have credit cards at all. So if you're in the US, having a good credit score is really important. Even if you're not into credit cards at all, it's important that you do have credit cards and that you maintain your credit score. Now let's get into rent prices a little bit. It's really hard to compare it because obviously the US varies like hardcore with the rent prices and in Germany it varies too. So just to give you all a little bit of background, I was living in Berlin, Germany and in the US I live in Houston, Texas. So Houston is on the cheaper side of city life in the US 
and I found some rent prices online to compare the prices just a little bit and I think it's pretty accurate from my own experience so for a one bedroom apartment in Berlin which one bedroom apartments are usually considered studio apartments in the US because one bedroom in the US is like one bedroom one living room versus in Germany it's usually just like one bedroom and Online it said that the price for a one-bedroom apartment is $800, which in my opinion is fantastic. I love the rent prices in Germany. A lot of Germans complain about the rent prices and I guess it's because it has increased steadily over the past few years, but to me it's still relatively affordable. In the US for that same type of apartment it would cost around $1,100 to $1,200 in Houston, Texas. Let's say that for disclaimer. I also think what you get is different too. So let's talk about some amenities that you get in US apartments versus what you get in German apartments. So like I said, the process of finding an apartment is completely different. It's very normal in the US to have complexes that have pools, study rooms, theater rooms, um, game rooms. So you have all of these things in the US apartment complexes. And in my opinion, in the German apartment complexes, you're lucky if you have a washer and dryer in the shared building. Like, it's not gonna happen. German apartments typically don't have all of the fun little add-ons, the Netflix add-ons, the pool, or anything like that. It's a lot more simplistic in my opinion. Um, and I think that's also because there's not that type of competition. You don't have to compete against another realtor or apartment complex. They know that people are all so hungry for an apartment that they really don't have to try hard to please somebody. Another big difference that I notice is in the US it's usually always an unfurnished apartment and if you get a furnished apartment you're going to be paying a lot of money so it's not even worth it. It's always better to bring your own stuff and it's really hard to find a furnished apartment versus in Germany I feel like it's a hit or miss. You can find an apartment that is unfurnished and even without a kitchen. Um, or you'll have an apartment that is completely furnished and has all of the past person stuff in there so it's really interesting. But you'll never have an apartment in the U.S. without a kitchen. There's usually always a refrigerator, a stove, and all of that, so you don't ever have to worry about that. But it is unfurnished in terms of there's no bed or dresser, anything like that. And obviously, I could make a whole video about literal apartment differences between Germany and the US with interior because obviously we have more like walk-in closets in the US and then in Germany this closet concept isn't really a thing you usually bring your own closet um, so there's obviously big differences like that um, but you could probably find videos on YouTube about that so I'm not really gonna go into that I'll save you all the time so which one is better? I don't think either one is superior, but in my personal opinion and experience, I do prefer the US way of finding an apartment. And I think it, a lot of the issues are because Germany has a huge housing shortage. So because there's a lot of homeless people, because there's a lot of people without houses, and because of that, I don't think that owners or tenants think that they have to really prove to you why you should stay there. They're like, it's a place, stay here. And you're like, yes, I found a place. And I think that a lot of that could be solved by building up. I know that there's a lot of rules and regulations that stop that from happening. I don't know exactly what type of law it is. So if you know that law, please comment down below and let me know what your opinion on that is. I know it's really controversial, but in my opinion, I think you should be able to build up. I think it would really help a lot of people to build up. So I'm all for it in my opinion. I understand that it is not European. Overall, I do think that the US way of finding an apartment is just easier and for that reason, I prefer it a lot more. I'm fine without a pool and all of that extra stuff because usually when you have a pool in an apartment complex, you never even go there anyways. Even in Texas where I'm living and it's so hot, I don't even go to the pool at all. So I'm totally fine with that, but I do prefer the stress-free way. And I do like to go to a complex and have them try to convince me why I should stay there versus being stressed out in Germany that you're gonna be living on the street. I've met a lot of foreigners in Germany that really struggle with this and feel discouraged and often just want to go home, um, which is really sad because Germany is such a great place to visit and a great place to work and live and have fun. So the fact that they feel so discouraged just because they cannot find an apartment just is off-putting. But again, 
that's just my experience. You could have a completely different experience. You could be a German living in America and you could have had such a hard time because you don't have credit. I don't even know how that is like. So again, I would love to hear your experience and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also remember to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a new video on Monday. Sorry for this one day late video. I love you guys. Ciao, cheese. Bis dann.